In this video series, we are going to learn different terms in graphs like path, tree, what is a graph, a connected graph, a even vertex, odd vertex, and then spanning tree and all these definitions. And then followed by uh, all these definitions, we learn how to apply different types of algorithms on a graph like Kruskal's algorithm, Prim's algorithm, or uh, Dijkstra's algorithm and all. Okay, we need to know the main basic stuff about graphs actually. In this graph, a graph consists of vertices labeled as A, B, C, D, E and F and the vertices are connected by a straight line. Sometimes you will see a lines like this also or it can be like this also. So these lines are called edges these points right these are all called vertices or nodes so if you take the set a b c d e this is a set of vertices or nodes and then the lines connecting two vertices are called edges or arcs so in this case you have a b a c B D C D B C A B A C B C B D C D uh, C E D E D F E F one two three four five six seven eight nine three six nine. This is a set of edges of arts. So if a question talks about vertex, they are talking about all these points. If they say arc or edge, they are talking about the lines actually. And the next thing is, sometimes you will see graphs with some numbers mentioned here. Let's say for well, something like that. All the edges, if you look at all the edges, every edge is associate, associated with a number often called the weight of the edge. So if all the edges has a weight, then this graph is called weighted graph. So basically in real life, you might consider this as a distance, distance between two cities from A to B, 10 km, A to C, 8 km, something like that. Okay. So this is the weighted graph or it can be just a plain graph without the weights given. Now look at these two different types of graph. This one is called a connected graph. Why we call it connected graph? Look at all the vertices A, B, C, D, E. All the vertices are connected. But here this is a graph. This is a single graph but D is not connected with any of the other vertices. So this is a disconnected graph. This is also a disconnected graph. So in a graph, if all the vertices are connected, we call it connected graph. If not, it's a disconnected graph. Now the next thing you're going to learn is called the degree of a vertex. It can be called degree or order of a vertex or valency of a vertex. For example, if you take A, there are two edges joining A, so the degree of A is 2. So for every vertex, you can find the degree. For B, it's 3, 1, 2, 3, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, D, E, F. You can find the valency or order or degree of every vertices by counting the edges joining the vertex. So for D, 1, 2, 3, 4, for E it's 1, 2, 3, for F it's 2. That's the degree of valency or order of vertices. And the next thing you are going to learn is a vertex with even degree or odd degree. If the question says a vertex, a particular vertex has an even degree, you should understand that the number of lines joining to the particular vertex is uh, an even number. That means in this case, e A is a vertex with even degree, C, D, and F also. B and E 
or vertices with odd degree. So that's what a even degree and odd degree means. 